This is daily vlog number 352. And I did some shopping today. Some crazy Christmas shopping. I spent a ton of money. Well, it wasn't my money. It was uh, my one church's. Both of my churches took up a collection this year for uh, some needy families at Christmas to get clothes for the kids, a few toys, some books, and you know, just generally to try to make somebody's Christmas a little bit brighter. Well, I know my one church in Deptford, they they just got tons of gifts in. I, 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 I can't imagine uh, the look on this family's face when they see just like a Santa's uh, toy bag full of stuff just coming into their house. But my other church, we did things a little different. Rather than uh, everybody buy stuff. They donated money, and we had a shopping team, which was essentially me and one other person. Thank you, Judy and Joe. So between the three of us, we spent close to $1,200 on the families that we sponsored. And it was just really cool. So going through the local Target and just putting together outfits and, and getting Legos and books and tons of other stuff. I'm always honored to be a part of something like that. I just think it's really cool how, you know, people step up to help out people they don't even know. And, you know, both of my churches are very good at doing that year round too. But I would love to see more churches, more people, more families adopting other families and maybe not necessarily buying a ton of toys for the kids because frankly, toys break and wear out and you get tired of them after a little while, but getting them things that really make a difference for them. I mean, food and clothes and yeah, a few toys and definitely books. I'm a huge proponent of buying kids books. And I don't mean downloading stuff on your Kindle or Nook or whatever, but I mean actual physical books. So what about you? Does your family, does your church, does your work, does your book club adopt families over the holidays and provide gifts and food and clothes and help to them? How else do you do it if you don't buy stuff for the other people? Do you... Like, invite the lonely to Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner. Let me know in the comments below how you and yours try to make other people's Christmas a little brighter. And if you don't have any way to do that, then maybe hit up a local shelter and see what you can do to help others out. Because Christmas is all about giving. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Well, this has been daily vlog number 352. Lucky 13 to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow.